Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 3 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Sponsored by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. Fish? Yeah. Dude. Still fighting? Yep. Yeah. Alright, slowly make your way up here, Ty. Oh yeah, dude, you got a big fish, man. You got a big fish, Ty. Just take your time, dude. Take your time. That's a big one, dude. That's a big one. Just take your time, dude. Just let me know what side we can go. Netter on either any side. Oh yeah, Ty. Just take your time. Okay. Yeah, just take your time. Come this side. Yeah. Oh, that's a big fish, dude. Don't horse her. Free spool her if you need to, okay? Let her take some line. It's a big fish, dude. Free spool her if you need to, Ty. Yep, to let her take some line. She probably hooked good. Just don't horse her, okay? We got her, dude. Yes. We got her. Oh, dude, God. it's a monster, man. Oh, dude, a monster moon set, dude. God, dude, that is a horse, dude. That is a horse. Oh, that's a big fish, dude. I was, I'm dude, so you fought her so well, dude. Thank you. You fought Thank her you. so well, man. Oh, my God, dude. That's a tank, man. Tyler Andrews, what? A giant. Gosh, yes. oh wow, gosh. Ty, that is a On monster. On the Raider, last spot, last light, fishing with Chaz Martin, the one and only. Oh my gosh, this thing is a beast. Tyler, that's a really, really big fish, man. Congratulations, dude. Thank you, Chaz. Holy Thanks for cow. Job. What a gorgeous musky tie. Last light bruiser. This thing is so heavy. Oh my it's gosh. Ridiculous, Chaz. Wow, dude, let's get her back. Holy cow. Beautiful fish, man. Look at the size of that muskie. Holy cow, dude. That's a northern Wisconsin trophy. It's a giant. It's a giant muskie tie. Thank you for that job, Chance. Well, I was, I was, I was just banking. I'm like, I just like, you gotta just treat these fish like they're hooked well. Yeah. And just take your time. Because when they're that big, it's like, thank you. Yeah. Swimming off nice and strong. Another day. Oh my gosh, Jazz. Oh. Tyler Andrews. <laughs> Biggest Wisconsin muskie of your life. Amazing. Huge. Thank fish, you so dude. much, man. Guys, some moments in musky fishing are just um, just incredible, memorable, ones that'll last a lifetime. And and this is one of them, guys. I am uh, here with the one and only Tyler Andrews. Glad to be here, Chaz. Dude, this is a <laughs> this is a dude moment, man. It was a dude moment. I mean, we talk about a day, guys. We've fished twelve hours. Yeah, it was brutal long. Have day. raised zero muskies. Haven't seen a single fish. None. All day. Nothing. And gosh, I mean, we have the sun setting and the moon setting here. We're on the, on the new moon. And Tyler and I, you know, we've been just pounding. We've been rocks, weeds, rocks, weeds, and we just haven't seen anything. So we, did, we decided to take a chance here. And we came out to a spot that we haven't caught a fish on yet, but it has all the makings of a big fish spot. I mean, a super giant spot. Mm -hmm. I mean, just deep water surrounding this rock reef big boulders 
and uh, it just looks like a tanker spot. And I don't know. Do you think it is? I think I would say it is. I mean, yeah, it, it might be. It might be. be. It might be a tanker <laughs> spot. I, I think we might have tested it out tonight. So. We're both throwing depth raters and really neat. Tyler got the fish. I mean, you're throwing the, uh, the jointed yep. eight inch DR. D yep. And I'm throwing the straight model. So we are, um, you know, backing each other up with a little diversity in the, the lure line up there. But really neat, guys. Sometimes you'll find that muskies will go after the straight model, and sometimes they go after the jointed model. And it's really neat to see which ones they prefer on a given body of water. Yeah. And how about tie the, uh, the water uh, clarity out here? Water clarity is so low, you probably can't see a foot underwater. Super stained water. So is it any surprise that this fish actually grabbed the jointed DR? Not really. And more uh, noise, more clacking, more rattling, more vibration underwater. This muskie probably went after that lure because it could hear it better. And it could sense the vibration better. Absolutely. So a lot of, a lot of really, really good takeaways from this giant muskie that Tyler just caught. I mean, a 30 pounder for sure, Northern Wisconsin, just bruiser. Um, you know, it's it's uh, timing with the moon. Here we have sunrise or sunset and moonset here. So we got on a really big fish spot. And knowing uh, your, your lures to choose in stained water, the, the jointed model depth raider is the lure in these, these yeah. super stained water conditions, man. That was just incredible. And how about the fight? Let's just talk about that. Cause folks, you know, this muskie was so big and you know it's dark out you really can't see anything and ty i'm just kind of yelling at you like an old guy here <laughs> yeah. you know say do this do that you know and you just you did everything perfectly so maybe talk a little bit about the fight and what kind of helped you know in this situation you know, it was such an intense fight i mean she just stayed down it was just rip and drag and you know it helped to free spool the yes. fish a little bit when she got close to the boat we yes. didn't want to horse her in that's huge you can't guys when you hook big muskies you cannot manhandle them, you can't horse them, you cannot just heave them into the net. Because if you do that a lot of times, especially if they're not hooked well, they're gonna get away. Yeah. And so you have to just take your time with trophy muskies. When they get upwards of 25 pounds and bigger, don't horse them. Just trust that they're hooked well, believe in it, and free spool them. You know, loosen that drag up a little bit, make sure that you take your time. Because the other thing is when it's dark like this, your net guy has got to get a good shot. Yeah. Don't say, you know, and you did it perfectly, but I'm saying, it, you know, if you're out there and you're fishing at night and you've lost some fish because you were heaving them in or that you've got to take your time at night because you can't see. The net guy can barely see. Uh, and, and another thing you did really well, don't reel your your musky up to the tip of the rod. No, no, give your net man some room. Yo, you have to have space. So anyway, guys, lots of really cool takeaways. This is Tyler's, you know, can I say your biggest Wisconsin yes, fish? Yes, it was, yeah. And, and, and nothing to be ashamed of. There was a monster, man. <laughs> yeah. Huge musky. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this segment. We're signing off here. That was the last cast of the night. Um, again, thanks for watching, guys. You subscribers to Muskie Mastery, Mastery, you mean the world to us. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.